Good evening and welcome. This evening, as we continue our Lenten journey, we'll be praying and offering the Stations of the Cross for our Lenten meditation. And I encourage those of you who are watching this video, those who are participating in the Stations of the Cross at home, to pray in a particular way as we pray this devotion for those who are suffering from the coronavirus at this time, those who are carrying that particular cross. We also pray for all our healthcare workers and officials, those who are putting themselves in harm's way in order to minister to those who are sick and also who are striving to keep all of us healthy and safe. And in a particular way, we also offer up this stations for reparation for our sins and those of the whole world and in a spirit of penance that we might continue to draw strength from the cross of our blessed Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To you, Eternal Father, we now offer this tribute of our worship in a spirit of humility and with a contrite heart. May it redound to your honor and glory, and make us and all faithful Christians, both living and dead, deserving of the forgiveness of our sins, the increase of grace, and the reward of everlasting life. Let us glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom is salvation, life, and resurrection. Let us pray. O God, through the passion, death, and resurrection of your Son, you showed us the path to eternal glory by the way of the cross. As we now follow him by our prayers to the place of Calvary, may we also share in his victory over sin and death and be received into his kingdom for all eternity, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. At the cross her station keeping Stood the mournful mother weeping Close to Jesus to the last in her heart is sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword has passed. See how sad and sore distressed was that mother highly blessed. Of the soul begotten one, Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. The first station Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. In the morning, the chief priests, elders, scribes, and the whole council, binding Jesus, led him away and took him to Pilate. And they all condemned him, saying, He is guilty of death. We have found this man saying that he is Christ the King. And Pilate, sitting in the place of judgment, handed Jesus over to them to be crucified. God spared not his only Son, but delivered him up for all of us. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, you came down upon earth from the glory of the Father in heaven and shed your precious blood for the remission of our sins. We humbly pray that, on the day of judgment, you may find us worthy to be placed at your right hand and to hear your words, Come, you blessed of my Father. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. Who on Christ, dear Mother, gazing, pierced by anguish so amazing, born of woman would not weep. 
the second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Carrying his cross, Jesus went forth to the place called Calvary. Hail, O Christ, our King. You alone had pity on the folly of our sins. Obedient to the will of the Father, you are led forth to be crucified, like an innocent lamb to the slaughter. To you be glory, to you be triumph and victory over sin and death, to you the crown of highest honor and acclaim. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. For the wickedness of his people he has stricken him. Let us pray. Lord, you once said, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly of heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Grant that we may be able so to carry it as to obtain your saving grace. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. O on Christ, dear Mother, thinking, such a cup of sorrow drinking, would not share her sorrows deep. The third station, Jesus falls the first time under the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Our Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself to the point of death, even to death on the cross. That is why God exalted him above every creature and gave him a name that is above all other names. Come, let us adore and bow down in worship before God. Let us weep in the presence of the Lord who made us, for he is indeed the Lord our God. Surely he has borne our infirmities, and he has carried our sorrows. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, we confess that we are weak, and that we often fail in the midst of trials and sufferings. Through the merits of the passion, death, and resurrection of Christ, your only begotten Son, give us new courage and hope. This we ask in Jesus' name, who lives and reigns, forever. Amen. Gracious Mother, font of love, touch my spirit from above. Make my heart with yours accord. The fourth station, Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. To what shall I compare you? Or to what shall I liken you, virgin daughter of Jerusalem? For great as the sea is your distress. O mother of mercy, grant that we may always realize in ourselves the death of Jesus and share with him in his saving passion. A sword of sorrow has pierced your soul. It has filled your heart with bitter pain. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, at the hour of your cruel death on the cross, a sword of sorrow pierced the grieving soul of the Virgin Mary, your mother. May she plead for clemency in our behalf, now and at the hour of our death. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. Make me feel as you have felt. Make my soul to glow and melt. With the love of Christ my Lord. The fifth station. Simon of Cyrene is forced to take up the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As the soldiers were leading away Jesus on the road to Calvary, they laid hold of a certain Simon of Cyrene, 
a passerby, who was coming in from the country, and forced him to take up the cross of Jesus. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross daily, and follow me. Whoever does not carry his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Let us pray. O God of grace and might, accept our prayers and sacrifices, and be moved to have mercy on us. Strengthen us in our weakness, so that our rebellious wills may yield to your divine will in all things. This we ask of you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bruise derided, curse defiled, she beheld her tender child. All with bloody scourges rent. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lo, we have seen him, and there is no beauty in him, nor comeliness. He is despised and rejected, a man of sorrows, his face full of grief. He is worn out by suffering, like one in whose presence the people hide their faces. He is scorned and disdained. His appearance is that of one tortured beyond human endurance. And yet he is fairer than all the sons of men, and by his wounds we are healed. Turn not your face away from us, and withdraw not from your servants in your anger. Let us pray. O God, renew us according to your own image and likeness, by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, your Son. Guide our footsteps in your paths, that we may truly experience the gift of your divine charity. This we ask through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. For the sins of his own nation, he now walks in desolation. Till his earthly life is spent. The seventh station, Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They delivered me into the hands of the impious. They cast me out among the wicked, and they spared not my life. The powerful gathered together against me, and like giants they stood against me. Afflicting me with cruel wounds, they mocked me. But I am a worm and no man, the reproach of men and the outcast of the people. Let us pray. O God, by the humiliation of your Son, you lifted up our fallen world. Grant your faithful people abiding peace and joy. Deliver us from the perils of eternal death and guide us to eternal happiness in heaven. This we ask through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Mother, pierce me through. In my heart each wound renew. Of my Saviour crucified. Let me share with you his pain, Who for all my sins was slain, Who for me in torments died. O sacred head surrounded by crown of piercing thorn, O bleeding head so wounded, reviled and put to scorn, our sins 
Praise have marred the glory of thy most holy face. Yet angel hosts adore thee and tremble as they gaze. The Lord of every nation was hung upon a tree. His death was our salvation, our sins is agony. O Jesus, by thy passion, thy life in us increase. Thy death for us did fashion our pardon and our peace. The Eighth Station. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Following Jesus on the road to Calvary was a great multitude of people and of women who bewailed and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Remember that the days are coming when they will say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, Cover us. If they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? They who sow in tears shall reap in joy. Let us pray. O God, you chose rather to have mercy than to be angry with those who put their hope in you. Grant us your grace, that we may truly grieve and make amends for the evil we have done, and thus obtain the gift of your heavenly consolation. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let me join with you in grief. Take away my unbelief. All the days that I may live. The ninth station. Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My people, what have I done to you? Or in what have I grieved you? Answer me. I brought you out of the land of Egypt, and you have led me to the gibbet of the cross. Forty years I fed you with manna in the desert, and you have beaten me with blows and scourges. What more should I have done for you that I have not done? He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, he was mute as a lamb before the shearer. Let us pray. Guard us, O God, on high, by your ever-present mercy and goodness. Without your help, we cannot overcome the evil that beckons us because of our weak human nature. Without you, we shall surely fall. Help us to avoid all that is sinful and guide our steps in the way of all that is profitable for our salvation. This we ask of you through Christ our Lord. Amen. At the cross with you to stay, there with you to weep and pray. This I ask of you to give. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They came to the place that is called Golgotha, or Calvary, the place of the skull. There they gave him wine to drink mingled with gall. He tasted it, but would not drink. They divided his garments among them by drawing lots. And thus was fulfilled what the prophet had said. 
they divided my garments among them, and for my vesture they cast lots. They gave me gall for my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let us pray. Strip us, Lord Jesus, of our former self, with its evil deeds and ways, and clothe us with that newness of nature which you have created in justice, holiness, and truth. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. Virgin of all virgins blessed, listen to my fond request. Let me share your grief and pain. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Having arrived at the place called Calvary, they crucified him there, and with him two thieves, one on the right, the other on the left, and Jesus in the midst. My people, what have I done to you? I exalted you with great power, and you have hanged me on the gibbet of the cross. They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Let us pray. O God, by the sacred passion of your only begotten Son, and by the five wounds from which his blood was poured, you repaired the evil wrought by sin in our human nature. As we, re as we on earth revere the wounds which he received, we pray that in heaven we may experience the fruit of his most precious blood. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let me to my latest breath In my body bear the death Of your risen Son once slain. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When Jesus saw his mother at the foot of the cross, and standing near her, the disciple whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. After that he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. Having tasted the vinegar, Jesus said, It is finished. Then crying in a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit and bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. Christ for our sake became obedient unto death, even to death on the cross. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, at the sixth hour you mounted the gibbet of the cross for the redemption of the world, and shed your precious blood for the remission of our sins. We humbly beg that after our death, we may enter with joy the gates of paradise. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. Let his stripes and scourging smite me, at his holy cross requite me, let his blood refresh me there. The thirteenth station, the body of Jesus is placed in the arms of his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. All you who pass by the way, Look and see if there be any sorrow like my sorrow. My eyes are spent with weeping, my whole being is troubled, and my strength is poured out upon the earth, as I behold the cruel death of my son, for the enemy has prevailed against him. Call me not Naomi, that is beautiful, but call me Mara, that is bitter, for the Almighty hath afflicted me, and has dealt 
quite bitterly with me. Tears are on her cheeks, and there is none to comfort her. Let us pray. At your passion, Lord Jesus, as Simeon had foretold, a sword of sorrow pierced the sweet soul of Mary, your glorious Virgin Mother, as we now reverently recall her bitter anguish and suffering. Grant that we may obtain the blessed fruits of your redemption. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. When the flames of hell would end me, at the judgment day defend me, gentle virgin with your prayer. The fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Joseph of Arimathea, who was also a disciple of Jesus, went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus, and Pilate ordered it to be given to him. Having taken the body down from the cross, Joseph wrapped it in a clean linen shroud, and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out in a rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb. You will not leave my soul in the netherworld, nor will you let your Holy One see corruption. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you left us a record of your passion in the holy shroud, wherein Joseph wrapped your sacred body, and when it was taken down from the cross. In your mercy, grant that through your death and burial, we may experience the glory of your resurrection. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. Jesus, when you call me hence, be your mother my defense. Be your cross my sacrifice. While my body here decays, may my soul your goodness praise. Safe with you in paradise. Let us pray. O God, you willed that your only begotten Son should suffer and die on the cross for us in order to rescue us from the power of the enemy. As we now glory in honoring that same holy cross, grant that we may everywhere rejoice in your loving care and obtain the grace of rising with him. This we ask of you, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen for the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and forever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all so much for joining us in our prayer this evening. We continue to keep each other in prayer. It is my prayer and Father Frank's as well that you all are kept healthy and safe in mind, body, and soul. Continue to watch our videos and our seminars and devotions on YouTube. And if you have not already, please hit the subscribe button and the, click the bell for our notifications. God bless you and keep you this day.